That's six, that's 65 to 80 amp. But it's copper, so it'll carry a little better. I'll let you walk around. Uh, my video shut off, so I've now got to walk through the whole Here's place. There's the odd thing, too, that this is not a main. Why did they put it over carpeting? This is like a sub panel. Wow. They put this floor over carpeting. Yeah, and it's taller than what it's supposed to be. That's why the door rubs right there. Huh. That's all they did. Nothing ran right over the floor. Yeah, it's not bad, honestly. That. Use that box, but you'd have to buy a mouth pin name. Uh, yeah, it has to be a piece of Cabinets need to be painted, ceiling needs to be painted. Why would they put ceramic tower without cement and board? But it's a two bedroom, two full bath. Definitely needs flooring. I'll walk around to the meter base. Hola. <sighs> Trying to see where the power meter base is that comes in. Where's the outside power meter? That's what we're looking for. You didn't see it? No. I think this is it, catfish, isn't it? Catfish. Hey, catfish. Looks like he's right there. Which one? That's what we got to look at. Should have an address on it. One's got a yellow and one's got a red. Yeah. That looks like it's going down that way. That's going that way. Right to the corner. It does, but it's on, I, wonder. I wonder if it's this end. Look it. See this one here. We'll see that how that wire is going. It's going that way for that house. Yeah, see, it's running. Synced. HO65. RE9. Keeps going to zero. And this one has a red tag. Yeah, it might be. So that's it, isn't it? Yeah, because you can tell the wire's going straight yeah. to the corner. And all you right. can see the ditch. But all we'd need to do 
for that, you'd need a thicker wire because that that wire ran is only literally for from here a 16 thicker. Amp. Yeah. Who does this? Who pays for that? We do or yeah. How do I we? Would. How do we? Because I'd get a different panel inside because that doesn't have a main breaker like oh. it's supposed to. How do we get the wire from here over to there? Well, when it's yours, when uh, you tell Empire, yeah, we'd have to pull permit, which is not a big deal. They'd come and cut this, and they'd probably pull the meter so that we could run new wire. But all we, we got to do is attach to it here and over there, put the new wire and pull it through. Okay, what do you think we're looking at for getting the electricity up and going? Uh, the wire inside looked good though, by the way. Okay. It was all three wire and grounded. Okay. This is it over there. Yeah. It follows through. And that's the old cone base to go to both places. And what's weird is the one that's facing that house is the one that goes here. But it's got thick enough pipe. I don't know why they ran such a low. Well, back in the day, 60 amp was almost place of use. See, I keep my mow, but no one's been mowing that. Uh -uh, I see that. You used to take care of all that, didn't you? No. Oh, no, just from that pipe over. Yeah. That's right. This would be, I don't know the exact footage, looks about probably 60 feet from there to the panel. Okay. So, and that'd be, they make a mobile home six wire that's cheaper than going with actual, like for homes, because it's shielded and it's everything else, and this is underground. Uh, you think? The panel's about 160 bucks with a 100 amp, 150 amp main. So just that part, you're probably getting 400 bucks just in parts. Okay, what about labor on you? Uh, depends on how long it would take me to do it. It shouldn't take me long. You're probably talking less than that in labor. Okay. All right. You're probably talking 300 if I did it by myself. So less than a grand and you'd have all the electric because what I'd also do is make sure all the plugs work and the one outside, there's a wire coming out on the porch that needs to be gone, what, done away with. And there shows power in the shed. Yeah. Did you look in that? Huh. But I don't see where it's coming from. They probably buried it. They had to have buried it, or it used to have power and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's no wire going into it now. But you could real. Oh, yeah, there is right there. There is wire? They used unshielded and buried it and went straight under and over. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, that's, that's not up to code, is it? No, that's not the proper shielding. It's not variable, but you could put that in a piece of pipe and it'd be fine. Because that's just one circuit going to the shed because just a light, probably a plug. Yeah. That, I honestly, if we dug that up, I'd just put a piece of PVC to where it goes from there to there. Okay. And that'd be fine. That'd save you a ton of money. Now, um, because to do this right, who would dare have to talk to you or Jim? Right, Jamie. Have Jeannie send me her phone number, or you send me, so I can give it to Daryl. You know what you could do? What? Honestly, because you need a different panel inside, because that's basically a sub. You could move that panel into the shed, cover that, and you'd actually have a panel in the shed to where you could add outside. Really? One or two. Yeah. Because the wire that's going out to the meter now, you can uh -huh. put it in the shed, and it will focus oh. a sub panel. <clears throat> Save you a bunch of money there. Maybe you do outside work, plug stuff in out here. Gotta have one outdoor plug somewhere by this front door and somewhere by the back door. Yeah. For code. For one city. Just like your house. <laughs>